Okay, so I always forget how crowded Gangnam is on a Friday. I forgot that it was Friday, if you can believe it. I'm getting my haircut today. Hoping to do a fun weekend in the life video because I think I'm having an, a nice weekend. Yeah, so I'm a little bit late to my haircut appointment because there were so many people in the subway station that I couldn't get on the first subway and I was the last person to make it onto the second subway. Always an adventure, Friday, so let me head to the salon, let's go. I always have a lot of vloggers come here, but the beauty salon is on the second floor and I'm really interested in why people always take the elevator when it's literally like a couple flights of stairs looking at you Q2 Han, but I love you guys. You're the reason I know about this place. <laughs> Goodness gracious, I forgot how long that took last time. So I got the same thing that I got last time and I I like it even more this time. I don't know if it's just because of the bangs or if he did the waves looser. I'm gonna focus on not getting hit by a car and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. <laughs> Morning. I swear every time I decide that I'm gonna do like a weekend in the life video my body just like shuts down and decides to make me feel really nauseous so I'm drinking my Pocari sweat hoping that that helps me feel better but yeah I don't know why I just woke up not feeling great so I'm gonna go meet Lenny hopefully brunch will help settle my stomach and um, we shall see I already feel the Pocari sweat working its magic so here we go So totally didn't film with Lenny because we talked for over four hours. Um, so sorry about that. And then I just dropped off at Fashion Week because she's meeting up with Iman. Um, but it's totally crazy and like claustrophobic and ridiculous. And so I'm sorry I'm, I'm not going to film this year's Fashion Week. But um, definitely I know there's a lot of vloggers doing it so check it out. Um, everybody looks really cool, really crazy. But I'm getting out of here and heading towards Hongdae. Let's go. Fast forward to a few hours later, we're in Hongdae and we are, we just got our tickets but we left to get my boyfriend kebab. Um, but we're here to see Sei Su Mi who actually just got back from South by Southwest. They're a Busan, kind of like surfer, like 90s rock band. Um, so I'm really excited. I love all the music but I haven't been able to see them live. So um, yeah, we're going to see them and Hongdae is super noisy. It's a Saturday night so let's see what we see.
morning guys um it is around 11 30 p.m uh which is quite late for this grandma and i just got back from a really nice day so i first met up with lenny for brunch as you saw but i'm as you know the worst at filming when there are like other people because i hate taking out my phone and like looking at it when like we're having a conversation especially because that was the first time we met in person so we ended up talking we met at 11 and we like parted ways at around four so like my throat is so sore from talking but she's super duper nice i'm really glad that she's in seoul now so if you um haven't followed her already definitely go over to her channel it will be linked down below she is currently making a lot of content about getting her apartment set up which i know is always really fun to watch um and then i headed over to like the e-day area to meet up with my boyfriend then we headed over to hongdae because there is this group that i've wanted to see for so long called say me and if you follow my like Facebook page you've seen me like repost a lot of their stuff um, they are actually from Busan so they don't come to Seoul very often and they actually just got back from playing South by Southwest in Texas in America they came back here played this show and like two and like two other shows and then next week or like two weeks from now um, they're going to Europe so I'm not sure about anywhere else, but I'm positive that they're going to England. I don't want to make any promises about any other countries, but they're definitely going to be there. Um, so I will like link the tour information as well down below. Um, the show was like even better than I expected. There were three groups. The opening group were, um, were called Rough Cuts, and we actually only saw their last song. They were also from Busan, but they're all foreigners. And um, we only caught their last song and I'm really sad because the song was so like early 2000s rock. You know, like what's that song that's like, my car is in the front yard and uh, you know that song? So it like it felt really like that like the song lyrics were so funny It was all about like I used to share my thoughts with everybody, but then I realized that all my thoughts are dumb And that was the whole song and so I don't know like I um, I will link them down below um, second group was called 57 and they were a much like harder rock group, but they had some really like beautiful soft songs it's a girl on the drums and a guy on guitar and that's it he had like a lot of effect pedals and it just sounded really cool there were like there were moments where i was actually thrown back to like definitely the black parade era of my chemical romance and sometimes where i felt like i don't know like i was being kind of rocked to sleep really gently and it was lovely so it it was like a really interesting sound and um the energy was really cool so again link below and then say sumi came on and um, they just did an amazing job. They're also from Busan, but they're much more of like a surfer rock, like very much my style, like laid back, really catchy, really fun. Um, so yeah, the air was so bad today. I didn't even think to check. And by the time I like noticed it, it was way too late to like buy a mask or anything. So I am currently chugging tea, um, hoping that it will clear me up. But yeah, it was it was so bad like my meter like 200 is the cutoff for unhealthy and then it goes up to like whatever is worse than unhealthy like Super unhealthy which whatever layer is above that um, 200 is the cutoff and we were at 192 So we were pretty close to finding out what the next level was after unhealthy. So yeah, I'm feeling a little got a headache got a throat ache just got an ache so yeah um hope if you were in seoul today you were wiser than i was and um yeah so i will catch you guys tomorrow probably won't be doing that much my boyfriend has to work on kind of like an important presentation like go him so um i'll probably just like hang out at a cafe with him and uh yeah that's kind of it so I will keep you updated. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the show. I missed Hongdae. I haven't been there in a really long time. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully it won't be super boring. Bye.
I feel sick just looking at this stuff. I'm making a cherry blossom flavored everything taste test slash Q&A, which will be my next video. So please look forward to that because I'm not. <laughs> this is the aftermath. Uh, I died, spoiler alert, if you wanna watch my next video. Coffee. I know. I'll make you coffee. Give me that. They're both of my socks. No! So I guess today was a little bit boring, my bad, but yeah, I woke up, I had just posted my Usadangil video, which if you haven't watched it, you should. I woke up a couple minutes before so I could like make sure everything was going okay and like answer everybody's comments. So while I was doing that, I also watched Marie Antoinette, which is just a lovely way to start the morning. And then I went grocery shopping for all of that cherry blossom stuff. Um, totally almost died while filming it. And then my boyfriend came over and he fell asleep <laughs> until two. So I was still like editing and stuff and he just like took a nap on my couch. Hit a cafe and I just read and doodled and my boyfriend went home. I went to Kyobo, which I shouldn't have done because I purchased three books. I was going in thinking I'm kind of get it. Like I'm about to finish this book. Maybe I should pick up one more, but no, no, no. Picked up three more. So first I picked up this, The 100 Year Old Man Who Climbed Out the Window and Disappeared, which is another book that I have, I know so many people have read and so many people tell me that I would love it, but sometimes I just can't, no matter how many times people tell me to, I just can't pick up a book until it's the right time. And so I think I checked this out of the library and then I never actually read it. Like I just, life, it wasn't ready for me. So I feel like, now is the time. I read a bit of it um, actually in the bookstore. So yeah, I, I hope that this um, is a good time to read this one. And then I thought, I was just like browsing, thinking like I picked up my one book, so I'm done here. And then there was another Agatha Christie. This one is Death on the Nile. I just pick up every Agatha Christie that I see and it's a bad habit. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna have to do a separate video on this, like my obsession with mysteries and crime, um, because I just started this new podcast called Crime Junkies. It's on Spotify. It's also just, I think, on their website. I'm not really sure. I freaking binge listened to this. I, I started it last week. There's only 13 episodes, which sucks, but it's really good. It's all like true crime, but the people who host it are amazing. What I hate about so many podcasts, like especially like crime or mystery podcast is they are also comedians like I started trying to I started trying to listen to like what's it called it oh my favorite murder um it's like one of the highest rated crime sh podcasts and so I gave it a listen and literally it's like a two-hour podcast like two-hour episode and the first 30 minutes where these girls talking about like Oh, do you have a glass of wine? I have a glass of wine. Oh my God, we always have our wine. Blah, blah. And like literally for 30 minutes, they talked about day drinking. Oh my God, it just drove me insane. So these girls, if you just want to hear like the story be told, um, they do an amazing job. They're, they're really awesome. If you like, you know, CSI or anything like that, um, definitely check out Crime Junkies. Then the last one was another Kim Young Ha. I haven't read this one yet. Um, it is I Hear Your Voice. I love him. I have quite a few of his books. 
Not on my shelf. Oh, it's okay. It's behind. I can't reach it, but I have um, a few of his books and he he wrote one of my favorite books um, black flower I will link the video up here. I talk about some Korean authors you should read if you are interested in Korean authors um, so yeah, this video got super long for being like Only one interesting day um, But yeah, I will see you guys later definitely check out my next video is a Q&A slash me dying while eating I don't want to ruin it, but pretty disgusting cherry blossom flavored things so yeah i will see you guys there um yeah hope you had a good weekend let me know what you guys did what books you're reading what podcasts you're listening to if you know any podcasts that aren't just like people yabbering and like trying to make jokes i love 99 percent. i love crime junkies help a girl out stop blabbering i will see you guys later bye <laughs>